Welcome back to NGB. I am your host, Shogun Ash, and we are continuing our series of playing through the Euros. We are using France and Kylian Mbappe in particular. If you've missed how this series works out, please go and check out the first video. We'll leave a link to that in the description and the comments. But we are now through to the knockout stages and we've got Denmark in the first knockout round. And we are back in the starting lineup up top there. Kylian Mbappe. And I think this is almost the strongest side we could put out. I think maybe if we swapped out Lamar and Tovan for Dembele and Griezmann, we'd be pretty much there. But other than that, I'm very, very happy with this squad. Lloris, however, can't make it, but Mandanda is more than capable in goal. So, let's do this. Here we are, back at the Johan Cruyff Arena. The Denmark versus France. The knockout stages have begun. Every game is a final at this point. So let's do this. And away we go, of course. Controlling only Kylian Mbappe. Mbappe turns Kia. And forward he goes. He's not being caught there. Squares it. Finish. There we go, France. A goal up already. Mbappe with a brilliant burst of pace and then just put it on a plate for Florian Tovan. And that is the incision that they missed against Portugal. Simon Kiar tried his best to keep up, but there was no way. And what a great bit of play there from that young man Mbappe who has been instrumental in pretty much every goal fans have scored so far in this tournament. And we're looking good. France keeping the ball quite nicely there. Tovan finds Mbappe, who frees Tovan again. Mbappe wants it back, shoots. Good save. Very, very good save, and it had to be. It's a fantastic ball there from Mbappe. Hit it first time with his left. But the goalkeeper equal to it. Now we have a corner. Mbappe couldn't quite win the header. Uh, Was closes down that pass there. Holds off Hoiberg, shoots Mbappe, oh, and that's pulled out of the top corner there by Schmeichel. Denmark at the moment struggling to really create anything. France just piling on the pressure at any given opportunity. That being said, Denmark are not a team that you want to write off. They do have players in that team capable of moments of magic. Of course, Christian Eriksen being one of them. Oh, Mbappe from range there and almost, almost with another scorcher into the top corner. Denmark having very little in the way of any kind of sustained possession. Or just possession at all, really. Often as soon as they get the ball, fans get it back. And that has been the story of the half. It's 1 0. Tovan's tapping. He gives fans the lead at the break. And it has literally been all France. And second half underway. France come out with an unchanged side in the second half, as do Denmark.
Ball into Mbappe. Oh. If that ball was just a little bit better, that could have been 2 0 and game over at the start of the second half. But now Denmark have got a chance to create something here. Larsen finds Eriksen. Jorgensen. Schoener. Oh! That moved. No one expected that. Least of all the keeper. We were saying earlier that Mandanda is more than capable. But I think a shot like that is going to fool any goalkeeper. Lasse Schoener. Let's have a look at that again. Just finds a little bit of space in the edge of the box. Cracks it. And... That is one hell of a strike. Mondondo will want to do better. Oh, that movement there is... Oh, that is unfortunate. That dipped and swerved. And what an equaliser. Well, we said Denmark would have to do something different. They stopped with the long balls and started knocking it about. Created space in the edge of the box. One shot, one goal. They'll be happy with that now. Now fancy to build this lead again. And there's that man Mbappe. He got the first assist. Could be another one. Oh, why have they gone back there? Pogba with the shot though. And Schmeichel will easily deal with that. Anderson. Denmark now. They seem to have found their groove. The passing's improving. Good challenge. It's a good ball in behind there. Mbappe could get to that and Anderson just gets in front of him. Now Fekir off, Griezmann on. But Denmark have also brought on their super sub as well in Yusuf Poulsen. 15 minutes left to play and of course if this does finish level we will go into extra time and potentially penalties Paulson keeps himself on side there but dealt with Mbappe beats Eriksen in the air collects the ball again and loses out there now Paulson, Anderson Paulson, Eriksen Denmark are really starting to move it about here. They're playing some good stuff. There's Delaney. And Denmark keeping the pressure on, but I think we've got rid of it now. And now it's Mbappe. He's got space to run into. Oh, Kia with a good challenge. Oh, Mbappe just ran too close to him there. And Denmark really going all out here. Mbappé now winning at Eriksen. Eriksen gets that ball forward though brilliantly. And now Vass. Denmark have got numbers forward. It's Hoiberg. Anderson. Eriksen clips one over. That's a good header away. Oh, and the passing just isn't there. They've got the perfect counter target in Mbappé. There we go, Griezmann. Finds Mbappe. He's running past Kia. Tries to get it into the box, but there's nobody on that edge of that six yard box. And he's going to go into extra time. What a game this has been. France have just been peppering Denmark all game. And then Denmark come back and get that goal a brilliant strike from Schoener man Dando will still be looking at himself but the movement on that ball was absolutely crazy let's get into extra time Denmark have made another sub they've taken Vars off they put on Larsen and now Mbappe sets Griezmann through oh just couldn't quite control it Mbappe again finds Griezmann Griezmann couldn't get his shot away. Can't get the ball out of his feet. But France again, keeping that pressure on. And now Denmark on the counter. Poulsen just being allowed to run here. Poulsen being allowed to run here, but dealt with, thankfully. Oh, Mbappe 
Tried to force his way through that back line there. Good header. Conte wins that. And that's a terrible pass, but Mbappe could get onto this. He can't. He does. It's a good ball in to Griezmann. Shoots! And there we go. <laughs> it's another assist from Mbappe. Another goal for Griezmann. And fans at this point now feel like they've surely done it. It's intense stuff right now. Brilliant from France. And a mistake from Denmark caused it all. We got caught in possession. And Mbappe found Griezmann loitering in the box. And Griezmann does not make a mistake from there. It's a good touch. Sets himself. Brilliant finish. Bruin Larson. At half time and extra time, it is 2 1 to France. Griezmann with a great strike from just inside the box. And we're looking good. France is keeping the ball very well there. Ball short into Sidibe. Looks for Griezmann there. And uh, the Ricochet sends it calmly into the hands of Schmeichel. And that's a poor pass there. Very poor pass. And that gives Denmark an opportunity there. I've got numbers forward. Bruin Larsen. Still Bruin Larsen. Good challenge. Now Mbappe is going to win that. That's that forward. It's a good tackle, but Griezmann can pick that up. He does. Mbappe. Clever. Now Griezmann. Gets it forward. There's still opportunities here. Mbappe! Can't keep his header on target. Surely the referee is going to pull it back for that challenge. And Pogba goes back to the keeper. And France now just need to move this ball about. And we have done. It looks shaky at one point. But France had the quality. Unlucky for Denmark. They tried, but there's just too much quality on the pitch and France come away as victors 2-1. There we go. France were just phenomenal that game. Just struggled to put their chances away at times, but got the job done in the end. Antoine Griezmann getting man of the match. Came off the bench, gave us the winner with literally his only shot. In extra time. Mbappe as well having a phenomenal game there. Two assists. And a brilliant playmaking performance from a player not really known for that. And now we are through to the next round. And we are are now facing Wales. Oh, Spain got knocked out by Norway. So we are going to be facing Wales. And if we get past Wales, we've got Holland or Norway in the semi-final. On the other side of the bracket, Italy, Germany, Croatia and Portugal all going through, which to be fair, you would probably expect it's a much harder side of the bracket, that side as well. So, regardless of what happens, we've got a big team to play if we get to the final. But first up, we've got Wales. Let's do this. Now, it would appear that we have been dropped again for the match against Wales. Griezmann is on incredible form. And to be fair, deserves a starting spot. I feel like they could have taken out Fakir and put Griezmann in there. But we are on the bench against Wales. Maybe they'll bring us on at some point. But until then, let's see if we can get the result. We are in Rome. 
at the Stadio Olimpico, where Wales and France will battle it out for their place in the semi-finals of Euro 2020. Gareth Bale and Nabil Fekir leading the teams out. France have notably struggled when they've left out Kylian Mbappe. Hopefully this time they'll be able to create that incisive attacking thrust and fire themselves into the final four. Let's do this. Tovan wins the ball there. Good battling. And Conte now in midfield. Finds Fekir. Sidibe. Fekir. Tovan. Back to Fekir again. Griezmann turns, shoots. Oh, and that cannons off the bar. That is fantastic football from France there. Let's have a look at that again. Oh, that is a phenomenal bit of footwork and play there from Griezmann to find that space, turn and shoot. Unfortunately, denied by the woodwork. Matuidi clips that over into Tovan. Dispossessed though. Taylor, Matondo, Wilson now. Joalan, dispossessed by Lamar. Griezmann needs to make a run forward. He does. Shoots! Oh! <laughs> that is phenomenal. That is absolutely phenomenal there from Antoine Griezmann. Absolutely rifles that into the back of the net. Let's have a look at that again. Lamar was urging him to get forward. One touch outside the box. Big finish. What a strike. What a strike. Wales now. Trying to get themselves back in the game. Aaron Ramsey finds Matondo out on the left-hand side. Sidibe. Good challenge. Wait, the referee's given that as a free kick. And not a throw-in. Okay. Interesting. Well, now we've got to defend... A set piece in a dangerous area. Let's have a look at this again. Okay, yeah, there was a little, a little nick on the ankles. Conte nods that way. Oh. And Roberts equalizes. Conte's header made that. There's no two ways about it. Hernandez has got every right to be upset by that. He should have just headed it out instead. Headed it across the box and gave Roberts an easy header. France have got to go ahead again now. Harry Wilson finds Roberts. Ramsey tackled by Umtiti. And Tovan now. And Griezmann needs to make this run forward. And he does. It's a good run. It's a good touch. It's a good finish. And he will have those all day. Antoine Griezmann. And France are back in front. And they'll want to hold on to this lead. There we go. It's just that, that France counter again. Griezmann getting in between the two centre-halves. 
and then neither of them tight enough at all once he's got that yard of space neither of them have really got the the pace to get near him and one-on-one -on -one, you'd bet against you'd bet on Griezmann against any goalkeeper ball out to Mondi he's got space Dom it's not going to catch him Floats it. Fekir with the... Th what a finish that would have been. What a finish that would have been. Clever pass into Lamar. He finds Mondi now in the overlap. Tovan. Oh, tried to fight Sidibe. It does bounce out to him. Floats it. Tovan can't win the header and Harry Wilson gets that clear. Now Matondo on the counter, but Fek here having absolutely none of that. Tovan. Griezmann, great touch. Great shot. Oh, cannons off the bar. Tries to go for another one. Tovan. Oh, ho, 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 ho. France really playing some good stuff at the moment. And there it is at half time. Wales 1, France 2. A brace from Griezmann. And he very nearly got an acrobatic third just before the break. But he's definitely all France right now. Just continually attacking Wales, catching them on the counter. Second half should be an interesting one. Let's do it. Mendy with the nod. Griezmann. Finds Tovan. Tovan with the ball into Matuidi. Oh, it was the right idea. Sidibe. Oh, brilliant football. Brilliant football. Lamar. Oh, unlucky. Now Bale. He's had a very, very quiet game. Pick it into Tovan, Tovan, and that is three, and that is the game over. Surely, surely there is no way back for Wales now. France playing brilliantly. They've rested some key players in Lloris and Mbappe, but still getting the job done, getting the goals, and doing it in style. Oh, look at that great football there brilliant play from Fakir and that is 3-1 and Daniel James now coming on from Matondo to maybe give them I guess more of the same similar sort of players really Lamar out to Mondi who crosses it immediately and Taylor gets that out for a corner And Usman Dembele has come on for Fekir. Dembele tries it. Matuidi! Oh! It's an acrobatic effort there, but couldn't keep it on target. You can't blame him for having a go. They're all lining up now. Mendy. And Titi. Oh, Griezmann taken down. Still got the ball. Can finish. Does finish. And that is his hat trick. And what a star he has been today. Absolutely untouchable. I think once he'd scored that second, there was no way he was going to leave this, this game without the match ball. And just that hunger there. Turned his man, got taken out. The referee was giving nothing. He got himself back up. And immediately finished that. 
There's four for France, three for Antoine Griezmann. And what a performance. The semi finals await, and he cannot wait. That's Joe Allen off, and also Mendy off, replaced by Kimpembe. Oh, unlucky, unlucky. Bale now with an option. Finds Roberts. It's a great ball. Where were the defence? But Mtiti got across quickly enough to deny him the opportunity for a clear shot. Sidibe dispossessed. Aaron Ramsey, Roberts! In Wales of two. Sidibe caught in possession there, and that was poor from him. Roberts with two goals. He still believes Wales can bring this back. So look at that again. Sidibe had many opportunities to get rid of that. And uh, that's a good finish there from Roberts. Davis gets it long. And on there's Daniel James now with the chance to take on Sidibe. It's a decent cross. But Mandonda gets there. And there we go. France are through to the semi-finals. Griezmann, of course, with the match ball. Brilliant performance from him. Uh, Ramsey absolutely gutted, but Wales just weren't really able to get a proper foothold in this game at any point. And now France in the semi-finals. Let's see who will be playing. And it looks like we'll be facing Norway. Germany, Portugal, Norway and France all going through all the away sides. Well, this is shaping up nicely. We are back in the starting lineup for this semi-final. Lloris is also back as well. This is a very, very strong France side here. Griezmann, Tauvin, Lamar and Mbappe in that front four. Norway have got their work cut out. But let's do this. Norway versus France. In the Euro 2020 semi-finals. Luis is back after a string of questionable performances by Steve Mondanda. France versus Norway for a place in the finals and it is live right now. Berger, Nordvoit, Odegaard. Good challenge by Pogba. And the referee's given that as a free kick. I'm not sure what's been done wrong there. Apparently Thomas Lamar's done something to Erdegaard. And they've got a chance to take this. Erdegaard, very good from set pieces. Decides to go out to Josh King rather than having a shot from what was definitely strikeable range. But Erdegaard picks it up again, finds Josh King! And Norway are ahead. Can't even say against the run of play because it's been all Norway since the start of this game. Let's have a look at that again. A little flick there from Odegaard. And Josh King able to rifle that into the back of the net. Good touch, good finish. Luis probably could have done a bit more about that. Well, France have got it all to do now. The referee is given absolutely nothing for that.
Mbappe finds Griezmann though. Griezmann finishes and that link up. Yet again. Griezmann with the goal. Mbappe with the assist. And that is what we do. Back in business. Let's have a look at that again. From back to front there. In four passes. <laughs> they meant absolute business there. Just completely cut a line right through the middle of this Norway side. Brilliant. Mbappe. Finds Griezmann again. Surely finishes from there and he doesn't. Odegaard with the interception there. Finds Josh King. France could be in trouble here. Oh, brilliant tackle. Brilliant tackle by Lloris. And I think both teams quite content to see this through to half time. But France could come forward once more. Oh, that's a terrible ball from Griezmann. That is an absolutely terrible ball. He's got to do better than that, and he knows. He put his hands up in apology. But at half time, it is 1 1. Josh King and Antoine Griezmann both scoring early on. Something of a stalemate after that. Well, both teams playing well. It's all up for grabs in this second half. Oh, Mbappe fouled there. And nothing given by the ref. Oh, finally we get the... Uh, we get the advantage brought back. Let's have a look at that again. Mbappe plays that through ball, and then Nordvite just a little bit of afters there. Ref probably could have gone to his pocket for that. The ball's whipped in. And it's to Mbappe at the edge of the box, and that deflection. Goodness knows where that was headed. Fancy to get this clear. Fancy to get this clear. Oh. Just about. And now it's Mbappe versus Rusted. Mbappe should be quick enough here. Oh, just couldn't get the support quickly enough. Odegaard floats this one in. It's a header, it's a good one, but... Oh, no! The rebound goes in from Svensson. And could this be the Euro Dream over? Could this be the Euro Dream over? Svensson with the tap in at the near post. That's heartbreak for France. His initial header was saved and he was first to the rebound there. Conte and Mondi have got questions to ask. Oh, we don't get a chance to counter. Norway go through, France crash out. One game before the final. Five minutes. Five more minutes. That was all it took. And that there says it all. We were not clinical in front of goal at all. 
We had so much of the ball, so much of the play, and couldn't see it out. So this journey is over, and we will have to resume the Euro dream with another team and another superstar. Josh King, man of the match. He'll be happy with that. Um, both of the previous finalists lost out this time, so it'll be a Germany-Norway final. Good luck to both of those teams, but our dream ends here until next time. And the final finished 3-1 to Germany. Congratulations to them. As for France, just one more game. One more game to get into the final. And we let it go right at the death. But we'll be back next time with another team, another superstar. Thank you for watching. This has been NGB. I've been Shogunash. It's been a pleasure. And I'll see you next time. Until then, take care and peace.